viewers in this video we will see the xs3 to bcd code converter subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic xs3 to bcd code converter what is xs3 code from the bcd code by adding 3 we will get the xs3 xs3 means we have to adding 3 for the normal bcd by adding 3 we will get the xs3 code now we are going from xs3 to bcd so that we need to subtract 3 from the xs3 so that we will get the bcd code right so bcd to xs3 available in separate video here xs3 to bcd so we will assign the input code input code is the xs3 code assigned as e3 e2 e1 and e0 e0 is the lsb e3 is the msb the output code is bcd that is represented as d3 d2 d1 and d0 d0 is lsb d3 is the msb right now we will form the truth table that is from converting from xs3 to bcd so that we will got the truth table value from the truth table we can frame the minimized boolean function then that boolean function will be implemented with the logic gates right now we will go to the truth table for converting xs3 to bcd code right so what is xs3 and what is bcd first we will see in the reverse order by bcd if you add 3 we will get the xs3 xs3 means adding 3 from 0 if you add 3 you will get xs3 decimal this is the normal decimal number this is the decimal number equivalent to xs3 code so 0 plus 3 we will get 3 here 1 plus 3 4 2 plus 3 5 so that is the process to convert bcd to xs3 now what we need is xs3 to bcd so we need to subtract here 3 minus 3 0 4 minus 3 1 5 minus 3 2 right minimum we start with 3 we cannot start with this 2 or 1 so while subtracting we will get negative value so the minimum xs3 code will be 3 starting value is 3 2 1 0 will give a negative value so it is from 0 3 to 12 right from each digit the 3 is subtracted so that we will got 0 to 9 right 12 minus 3 is 9 right 9 minus 3 is 6 right so this is the equivalent decimal of xs3 code this is the decimal equivalent of a bcd code that is subtracted 3 is subtracted then this is 3 is represented by the uh, by the code weightage of 8421 this is 8421 weightage so here also 8421 weightage will be available right so 3 how will you represent 3 sir so here the third and fourth digit is there 2 plus 1 3 you by adding third and fourth digit we will get 3 so that 0 0 1 1 third and fourth digit is make it as 1 how will you get the 4 the th second digit is 4 is available so that is make it as 1 remaining are 0 so that we will get 4 how will you get 5 so here the second and fourth digit so here 4 is there here 1 is there by adding 4 plus 1 we will get 5 so the second digit and fourth digit will be 1 remaining are 0 so that 4 plus 1 5 will get so like that these are assigned together this is a normal bcd this already be available it's a standard form 8421 so by using that from 3 to 12 it is assigned the same thing is followed here also for 0 to 9 right 0 means all are 0 0 how will you represent 1 here 1 is available fourth digit is 1 so by making the fourth digit is 1 we will get the value of 1 then how will you get a 2 this third digit is 2 is there so we will make it as 1 so that we will get 2 3 how will you get 3 third and fourth digit 2 plus 1 3 so we will make it as third and fourth digit as 1 so that we will get 3 how will you get 4 so second digit is 4 is available so we will make it as second digit is 1 so we will get the equivalent of 4 how will you get 5 the second and fourth digit 4 plus 1 is 5 so then make it as second and fourth digit is 1 so we'll get the value of 5 so like that it is represented right so now we have the truth table converting the xs3 code to bcd code right now for this bcd code d0 d1 d2 d3 we need to frame the minimized boolean function by using the k map here the values are available these values are plotted in the k map by grouping the cell we need to get the minimized expression for d3 d1 d2 and 
d d0 d1 d2 and d3 that from the minimized expression we can implement with the logic gates right see this then d0 1 2 3 4 5 ones are available in d1 1 2 3 4 ones are available in d2 1 2 3 ones are available in d3 two ones are available so here are two ones three ones four ones and five ones right so keep on increasing so this value we need to plot in the k map now we'll go to the k map right first we'll see the d3 then we'll go to d2 d3 so this is the output output uh, code bcd code the input is nothing but the, the xs3 code e3 e2 e1 e0 these four values are taken as a input e3 e2 represented vertically e1 and e0 represented horizontally e3 and e2 two variables so four four possibilities are available this is the eight variable came up 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 e1 and e2 also two variable having four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 there is an interchange between third and fourth column similarly third and fourth row right now we need to mark the ones available in the truth table for d3 we already discussed only two ones are available this one and this one right what about this cross mark that is nothing but a don't care conditions the don't care condition means we are having 3 to 12 in the xs3 code 0 1 2 is not not taken into account right so this is nothing but 0 this is 1 this is 2 right so the xs3 code starts from 0 to 3 to 12 only right we'll refer the diagram so from 3 to 12 only the tabular column is available 13 14 15 is not available similarly 0 1 2 3 is not available right so it's similarly it's nearly six variables are not available here three variables not available here also three variables not available 13 14 15 here 0 1 2 0 1 2 not available so that are taken as a don't care conditions these six variables are taken as don't care condition so by using the min term this is represented 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so this is the min term representation based on that this is 0 1 and 2 these three are marked as cross mark don't care condition similarly we have 13 this is 13 this is 14 15 13 14 15 also marked as cross mark don't care condition right so now we have two ones are available we need to group these two ones so one possibility is these four cells are grouped together and these two cells are grouped together so the don't care condition while grouping we can use that we can use the don't care condition while grouping but it is not necessary to group all don't care condition these don't care conditions are not grouped together so it is not necessary so while grouping one we can use the don't care condition but the don't care conditions are not covered is not a problem right first we will see grouping of these four cells so while grouping four cell we have to refer the corresponding third row what is available in third row one one what is one one e3 e2 we have to refer the corresponding column first column second column fourth column but all are cancelled zero zero cancelled by one one zero one cancelled by one zero so all are cancelled only we have one one that is e3 e2 then grouping of these two cells we have to refer the corresponding third row and fourth row what is available in third row one one fourth row one zero so the first number one is available commonly what is first number e3 this e3 is there second number is one zero one and zero got cancelled similarly what is available here one one what is one one e1 and e0 e1 and e0 so that e3 e1 e0 right so this is the equivalent expression for d3 now we'll go to d2 right here also there are six variables are marked as don't care condition d2 having the four ones are available one two three four ones are available now we'll go for the grouping these two ones are grouped together right these two ones and these two one top and bottom one two three or oh, these two ones these are grouped together so after grouping this one is also available the all four corners are grouped together so there are 
three groupings available. This is grouping of these two cells, first grouping. Second grouping is grouping at the all four corners in order to cover this one. In order to cover this one, these two cells and these two cells are grouped together, top and bottom, right. First, we will see the grouping of these two cells. So, we have to refer the corresponding second row and third row. What is available in second row? 0, 0, here 1, 1. So, the first 0 and first 1 is cancelled. The second number 1 is available commonly in both second and third row. What is second number? E2. So, it is represented E2. What is available corresponding column? Is 1, 1. 1, 1 means E1, E0. So, E2, E1, E0. Right? So, that is the expression due to grouping of these two cells. Now, we will go to the grouping of corner cells, all four corners. So, all four corners, we have to refer the corresponding first row and last row. Here 0, 0, 1, 0. So, the first number here 0, here 1, got cancelled. Second number is 0 available commonly in both first row and last row. What is 0? Second number, what is second number is E2. E2 means 0 means E2 dash, right? We have E2 dash. So, correspondingly, we have to refer the first column and last column. What is available here? 0, 0, 1, 0. So, the first number here 0, here 1, cancel. Second number 0 is available in both the cases. What is second number? E naught. E naught means E naught dash. So, this is the equivalent to the grouping of corner cell. E2 dash and E naught dash. Right. Now, we will see the grouping of these four cells, red color. So, again we have to refer the first row and last row. We already see that it is E2 dash. Right. Similarly, we have to refer first column and second column. 0, 0, 0, 1. First number 0 commonly available, second number 0, 1 cancel. What is first number? E1. 0 means E1 dash, right. So, E2 dash, E1 dash, right. Here E2 dash, E0 dash. So, finally, what we have? E2, E1, E0 plus E2 dash, E1 dash plus E2 dash into E0 dash. Now, we will go to the remaining, this D2 is there. Now, we will go to D1 and D0, simplified expression for D2 and D0. So, the D1, we already discussed the D1 having four ones, 1, 2, 3, 4. These six are don't care conditions. So, these four cells are grouped together. Similarly, these four cells are grouped together. While grouping these four cells, corresponding rows are cancelled. Only we have to refer the corresponding column. 0, 1. 0, 1 means E1 dash E0. 0 means E1 dash. 1 means E0. E1 dash E0. And grouping of these four cells, again corresponding rows are cancelled. Only this column is available. 1, 0. 1 means E1. 0 means E0 dash. So, E1, E0 dash. Right? So, grouping while, while grouping this cell, we have E1 dash E0. While grouping this cell, we have E1, E0 dash. E1 dash and E0 dash. Right? Okay. Now, we will go to D0. So, D not having 5 ones, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5s are marked together. These 3, 6 are don't care condition. So, here we are grouping 8 cells, these 4 and these 4, right and left most corners, right. So, grouping of 8 cell. While grouping 8 cell, we will get the minimized function, right. So, we have to refer this corresponding row, all are cancelled. Only we have to refer the corresponding column, 0, 0, 1, 0. The first here 0 is available, here 1 is available, cancel. Second number is here also 0, here also 0. Second number means E0, 0 means E0 dash, right. So, we got E0 dash. So, for D1, we got E1, E0 dash plus E1 dash E0. D0 is E0 dash. So, now we got the expression for D3, D2, D1 and D0. Now, we will go to the logic diagram to implement this four functions. Now, we will go to the logic diagram. So, this is the input code XS3 code. This is the output one BCD code converting from XS3 to BCD code. So, XS3 all four possible E3, E2, E1, E0 all four possible inputs are available. So, this line represent the input E3, E2, E1 and E0. In order to get the E3 dash one NOT gate is connected. From E3 the tapping is taken and is connected with one NOT gate so that we will got E3 dash. Similarly, we have E2 dash, E1 dash, E0 dash by connecting the NOT gate. 
So there are eight possible inputs are available here E3, E2, E1, E0, E3 dash, E2 dash, E1 dash and E0 dash. So which one we are required we can connect, uh, we can connect as, as per our requirement either this value or this value right. Now we will go to the D3. So the D3 is nothing but sum of these two right E3, E2 plus E3, E1, E0 right. These two are added by this R gate. How will you get this E3, E2 by using AND gate? So here E3 and E2 is connected. So it will give E3 into E2. So this AND gate, this function is got by AND gate. So we are going in a reverse order. E3, E1, E0 is connected. This is E3, E1, E0 is connected. So we got this function. So these two are added by this R gate. So we got the value of uh, code of D3 that is MSB. Then we will go to the D2. D2 value. How will you get the D2? D2 having three functions. These three are added by this R gate. These three function got by the three AND gates. E2, E1, E0. One AND gate is E2, E1, E0 is connected. Another AND gate E2 dash and E1 dash is connected. E2 dash, this is E1 dash. In another AND gate E2 dash and E0 dash is connected. So we got this value. These three values are added by this R gate so that we got D2. Then we will go for D1 and D0. D1 having two functions, two terms that is added by this R gate. How will you get this function by using the AND gate? E1 and E0 is connected. E1 and E0 is connected. Here E1 dash and E0 is connected. So that we got this value. These two are added by this R gate so that we got D1. D0 is nothing but E0 dash. So directly it is connected. This is the LSB value, LSB of the BCD code. So now we got from this is these, these lines are XS3 code. So by connecting the logic the gates, we got the BCD codes D3, D2, D1, and D0. In this video, we discuss about the how to convert XS3 code to BCD code. Right? So we discussed the truth table followed by simplification of boolean function using kmap that simplified expression is implemented with the logic gates. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.